So in this part of the course, we spoke about what we can buy, leasehold, freeholds, ground rents, and that kind of thing. Now I want to speak more on where to buy. The question I most often asked is where should I buy? And property hotspots are the most talked about. Uh, it's one of those ironies though, that once an area has become a hotspot, and it's too late to invest there, or rather you won't, you won't get a better capital gain than you would from the general sort of market. It's, if it's a hot spot, it's been and done, you're too late. Uh, the way from, to profit from property hotspots is to spot them before they happen. Uh, so predicting where a new train station might open. So if you're great at Crossrail 2, you, you want to be looking at Crossrail 3 or 4 now. Uh, or buying next to a hotspot as a ripple effect takes effect. So the hotspot's there. People can't afford the hotspot anymore, so they start looking further and further away. Uh, or hotspots are nice areas in general that sort of applies to. Um, or neglected areas. Neglected areas are sort of great because eventually they will get some funding from someone to regenerate. You know, the council or the government will put some put some money in, but you don't know when. You could be sitting on it for a long time. Um, the problems back in Brixton, you know, led to the riots. It was a long time after the riots before Brixton really took off. But that time would have been a brilliant time to buy but you've had to sit on it for a long time. Uh, conversely, straight after the Croydon riots, that would have been a great time to buy, but that was quick, quickly invested and in sort of got money thrown at it, you know, the Westfield projects and things that are going on there. So, you, you know, a hotspot is almost impossible to predict. You know, if you know about it, everybody else knows about it, and by that time, it's probably too late. So I'm not, so as you can maybe tell, I'm not a big follower of hotspots. Um, I did get lucky once though, um, I took a chance to buy a property in East London in 2011 um, and then the following year um, the Olympics were announced um, and by, well, a little bit of chance but a little bit of uh, good management, uh, the flat is right next to the Olympic Stadium and the Queen Elizabeth Park so uh, that one worked out well for me but it, it was it was a lot of luck. as. I say a little bit of good management, but a lot of luck. So we took a chance. It's Olympics could have been there, could not have been there. So it was a bit, I was going to say 50-50, it's probably less than that. It was, uh, I don't know if you remember, the uh, French pre president upset everyone by saying something rude about someone. So, uh, it, it, you know, a chance statement by a foreign politician made that investment really pay off for me. I mean, on the converse side if that didn't happen i'd have had still a nice flat next to a nice park it just wouldn't have been as nice and as profitable so yeah i don't really believe in hotspots or chasing them um if i wouldn't say it's wrong not to research and try and find up and coming areas however it's not the best way which i'll speak more about on the next video well, I hope that was useful. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. See you on the next one.